I'm back with a quick, easy, fall-inspired side dish. Brian Little. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Munson Made This. I'm Michael, I make vegan food. Today is no different. I have a delicious vegan recipe for you. So if you're looking for vegan recipes, definitely hit that subscribe button below. Today I am making a fall inspired wild rice and butternut squash salad. I wanna call it my forest floor salad because that's sort of what it looks like and I thought I was really creative coming up with that name and then I Googled it and it already exists. But uh, we're gonna go with it. Uh, it is a sheet pan style salad where we're gonna roast some vegetables on a sheet pan, cook up the rice, toss it together and we have a delicious and easy recipe that we can bring to a holiday gathering party event or even just meal prep it and eat it out of your fridge at home. So let's get started with roasting the vegetables. In this bowl, I have some butternut squash, which is cut up into about three quarter inch pieces. To that, I'm adding some cut up onion. You could cut that up however you'd like. And then I'm adding some sliced mushrooms. All of the ingredients and their full amounts will be in the recipe linked below. So if you wanna go ahead and click onto that, you can as soon as you're done watching this video. Uh, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of olive oil. This is up to you how much and then I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, up to you how much. This is going to be cooked on a sheet pan, so you could essentially do all this on the sheet pan. I just prefer to mix it around first just so everything is evenly coated. Makes it a little bit easier for me, but again, whatever is easiest for you because we're trying to make a quick, easy holiday side dish here today. Everything here looks evenly coated. Things are evenly dispersed. I'm just going to pour it onto my lined baking sheet. And my oven is already preheated to 425 degrees. I'm just gonna pop this in there for about 30 minutes, toss it, alert, toss it around a little bit about halfway through. My vegetables are roasting in the oven behind me. And uh, if you're doing this at home, you're going to want to cook your wild rice at the same time. So this is kind of a salad, kind of a side dish, uh, but another main component to it in addition to the roasted vegetables is this wild rice. Now you do wanna soak this overnight before, and then it takes about 20 or 30 minutes to cook uh, once it has soaked. So I've already cooked mine ahead of time just to make my life a little bit easier here. And, and you can see one cup pretty much doubles in size once it is cooked. So you do want the wild rice. Uh, additionally, I have some dried cranberries here. I have some pecans, just little pecan pieces. These are going to be sprinkled on the vegetables at the end in the oven uh, and just kind of toast up for a minute or two before we assemble everything. I also have some fresh cilantro. I'm gonna chop up right before tossing. And the last thing that we're going to put in this dish is a delicious dressing. So let's clear all this out and start to make that. Dressing is really easy. We're just going to assemble it here in this jar. You need one part olive oil. If you did not want to use oil, you wanna make this oil free, you could just sub in water. Uh, I've also even done this with some tahini. That's really great. So uh, yeah, one part oil, two parts balsamic vinegar. And I'm just using a two tablespoon measure here just because I'm actually gonna be making a double batch. One part Bragg's liquid aminos or low sodium soy sauce and then one part maple syrup. And that's the dressing. I've tried putting other herbs and spices in here. I think it just takes away from the flavor. So let's just shake this up. So I'm just shaking the dressing up here. Uh, this can be made in advance, leave it in your fridge. So make the rice in advance, make the dressing in advance, roast the vegetables. Uh, and when you get to the party or wherever you're going, just toss it together right before serving, add your fresh, uh, cilantro or parsley. You can make this in advance. It can hang out in your fridge. You can serve it cold. Uh, I do think that the butternut squash gets a little bit dark from the dressing. So it is at its most vibrant if you toss it fresh right before serving, but uh, it can be served cold. It can be served warm. It can be served anytime. It's delicious in every state. So um, all there's left to do is wait for the vegetables to roast and then we'll toss the salad together. 
My vegetables were in here roasting for about 35 minutes, and uh, as soon as everything was tender and ready to go, I sprinkled on the pecans just to slightly kind of brown up, just get a little bit of the rawness off. So these are ready to go. I'll probably just let them set here for a minute or two before I assemble, but other than that, we're ready to toss this side dish slash salad together. I've got my large bowl back from earlier. Now I'm just going to dump everything together and toss it. So I've got the wild rice, the vegetables, uh, my dried cranberries, the dressing, and the cilantro. So once I get all that in the bowl, we'll toss it together and we'll pretty much be done. Toss all of this together. You can see now why I wanted to call it the forest floor salad. It has just kind of this appearance of these very natural earthy elements, a little vibrance from the green, the darkness from the wild rice, the brightness from the craisins and the butternut squash. All right, this looks pretty well mixed together. I'm gonna plate this up, garnish it a little bit, make it pretty, and then we'll give it a taste. Before I give this salad slash side dish a taste, I just want to show you the orange slices that I put on here. It's these sweet and dried orange slices I got. I just put them on there for garnish for pretty. I'm sure they're really delicious tasting with the salad as well, but it's just on there to bump up the orange color a little bit. So let's give this dish a try. This is such a perfect like side dish meets a salad type of recipe. It's got chewiness from the rice. It's got crunchiness from the nuts, excuse me, creaminess from the butternut squash. Uh, you've got the sweetness and the tartness from the uh, dried cranberries, plus the sauce, a little bit of acidity from the balsamic vinegar. It's just got all of it going on. Little herbaceousness from the cilantro. You definitely have to give this recipe a try. Uh, I had something similar to this at a party a few years ago and it was just has stuck in my head, kind of devised this recipe based on what I remembered that to be. And just remember it being sort of a perfect thing that could just be sitting out room temperature that everyone can enjoy. And it could be something at the beginning of the meal. It could be served during the meal. Uh, you could even build this in a jar, stack it with the dressing and then the rice and then the vegetables on top and meal prep it for work and add extra protein, tempeh, tofu, make this your own. It is so good. So thank you for watching. Give this a try. Comment below if you do give it a try. Also let me know if there's any other holiday side dishes you want me to make. I probably have time for another one or two holiday side dishes. I'm thinking of doing something in the green bean casserole realm because there's been a few requests for that. So stick around next week. Uh, who knows what there will be, uh, but it's definitely going to be another holiday side dish. So thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you haven't yet already. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, and I will see you next week with a brand new recipe video.